Chapter 1 Look Yourself in the Mirror, What Do You See? Mirrors can arguably be one of the best tools ever invented, in terms of judging the most important person in your life. You. They have the ability to force anyone to look upon themselves, and see exactly who they are. However, the mirror has limits. The person in the mirror does not have the ability to look inside of the person staring at them. That's where the mirror's job ends, and the work for the individual begins. Flash can only tell you so much. I recommend starting with the eyes. They tell more than anything, when it comes to searching the soul within yourself. When you look into anyone's eyes, there's a story playing out right in front of you, giving you small details on that person's past, loyalty, temperament, integrity, honesty, and so much more. Even the level of compassion, gratitude, and kindness can instantly be measured by looking into the eyes of another. Who you see in the mirror is just the first step. The real challenge begins when you look yourself in the eyes. Just as when you look in the eyes of another person, and get a reaction one way or the other about that person's temperament, lifestyle, triumphs and failures, you will see the same thing in your eyes. As you look yourself in the eyes, try not to observe too much of the person you see, but the story in the eyes. Those eyes will tell you far more than anything anyone else could tell you about yourself. It's important that you don't look at getting your reflection for a short time, but for as long as possible for you to figure out what's going on in those eyes you see in the mirror. If you find yourself wanting to look away, don't. If you find yourself uncomfortable that's natural. It's never comfortable looking at yourself in the mirror because you see what others see and that can be disturbing. That can be frightening, frustrating, but also therapeutic, in a certain way. Your eyes are going to tell you, one way or the other, everything about yourself. What you see is going to dictate how you react to what your eyes are telling you. If you see someone that disgusts you, that makes you feel ashamed, that makes you feel hopeless, that makes you feel broken down and worthless, then it's really up to you to figure out the next step, which is asking why you feel that way. Is it past events that have triggered these emotions in yourself when you look yourself in the mirror? Is it failures, over and over again, that provokes your frustration about yourself? Is it your overall appearance, your weight, your race, your sex? These are all valid questions, and if the questions are there, why need to seek the answers? Until you die, and are no longer on this planet, you are going to have to deal with that reflection one way or the other. Even if you chose never to look in the mirror, which is nearly impossible for most of us, because of the serious nature of our being, you are going to have to deal with it. There are nations on this planet that don't even own mirrors, yet they seem to be happier, more content with themselves. Why? Because it's a choice. If you have access to a mirror, most people are going to look into it, even if you've never looked into one before in your life. Again, the curious nature of humans will almost always lead us towards the reflection of ourselves, because we want to see what other people see. We need to know everything about ourselves in order to become the best version of ourselves. The external version of ourselves, yet we ignore the internal version of ourselves. But we're not talking about aesthetics here. We're talking about the soul, the person internal. Anyone can change their outer appearance, sometimes without us asking. You could be in an accident and be deformed, you get plastic surgery, change our hair color, we can gain weight or lose weight, we can dress a certain way, all these things can be changed to paint a picture which may not match what's internal. Or, all those things can make up something that does match the internal. So that leaves what? The eyes for the most part is one of the only features on a body that we can look at as if the rest of you were going to look into a person's internal soul, and see truly what kind of character they really are. There are tons of people outside in the world who walk around every day and have mastered the art of deception when it comes to their external appearance. Only problem is, we were not born with the ability to make those choices when we took our first breaths in this world. We were born nude. At the time when you were a newborn child, the first thing the mother and father do once they wrap you in their arms, is look to your eyes. As a child who is unable to speak, unable to do anything to take care of themselves, and are seeing everything most of the time for the first time, the eyes are usually what tells the parents and others, what a child is feeling at that time. Just as a baby cries, the eyes also tell you a story when they are calm. 
As a child you learn without even knowing it that eyes are a form of communication. Why? It's simple. Because it is one of the most human ways of communicating that we have at our disposal as people. Communication is a huge deal obviously, and there are a lot of people out there who cannot speak, cannot take care of themselves, and have lived very unique lives. We can tell all that just by looking into their eyes. Into their internal soul. So the next time you walk up to a mirror, stare at your reflection for as long as possible. I also recommend you do it when you're nude, and encourage doing it with a full body mirror. I recommend you be completely honest with yourself, about what you see looking back at you in the mirror. It is literally one of the most scariest things for some people to do. Because no matter what, they see what other people see. And that can be very frightening, discouraging, and stressful. Yet, it can be comforting, reassuring, and positive. I challenge you to look upon yourself as others do, but most importantly, look into yourself as only you can do. The person in the mirror is communicating with you. Not with your clothing, hairstyles, plastic surgery, obesity, anorexia, deformities, skin color, religious bias, political bias, social class status, age, or anything else that makes up individuals as a human being. They are simply looking back at you as you are to them. For most people, looking into the mirror at yourself completely nude, is as intimidating as facing your deepest darkest fears. This exercise is not meant to be done one time and then forgotten about. This exercise is for you to put into your daily routine, so every day you know exactly what everybody else sees, but more importantly, it gives you a daily status update, on how you feel about yourself. As your eyes look back at you in the reflection, they are communicating with you. They're yours. Your eyes are telling you exactly what you need to know, hear, change, or keep the same how about yourself. And only you as the person who is the sole owner of those eyes, can make those changes. It must start internal. Work from the inside out. Find the strength to look yourself in the mirror every day, and accept whatever those eyes in the mirror are telling you about yourself at that time. It is an exercise I have been doing faithfully for years now, and it has drastically changed the way I feel about myself, my confidence, my self-worth, and my dedication to becoming the best version of myself. If there are things in your life that you're not proud of, that you fail at, that you procrastinate on, bad things you've done, the lies you told, the cheating, the prejudice statements you've made, the religion you didn't adopt, all these things are individually placed upon us. All our stories are different. All our lives are different. Individual, unique, and the person who this going to carry that torch over the finish line as you sculpt yourself into the best version of yourself, is going to be that person in the mirror because no matter what you think about yourself that person exists. It is not a character. That person in the mirror is a breathing, existing, and as a purpose filled human being with all the potential in the world, if only they take the challenge to go fight for that purpose. Because like in any fight in reality, the fight with yourself with that person in the mirror, is the greatest battle of your time. No other confrontation has more at stake than your battle with that person in the mirror. I have always strived to make that person in the mirror be the most positive version I can create think of it the other way, as if that person in the mirror is some type of a virtual reality character that you can scold in some way. In a way the mirror can be looked at pawn as a two-way street, either way has a destination, but it's up to you to reach them. Going the wrong way is not always beneficial obviously, but how does one tell if they are going the wrong way or the right way? Again it's simple. Your eyes will tell you. They will let you know when you're on the right path, or on the darkest path you've ever been on, and they are issuing you a warning. They are warning you that there is time to change. Those eyes are not telling you it's over. They're telling you I'm giving you a heads up so to speak, and that you may want to make changes now rather than later, because everything you do always starts with that moment every day you look yourself in the mirror. And mentally deal with your reflection, for better or for worse. Over time, no matter how bad it hurts to look at yourself in the mirror, at some point you will begin to look at yourself longer each time you engage in the exercise. Because you have already started to work on yourself whatever is making you upset, you would have already started working on it because you heard the warning given to you by your eyes. Your eyes are protecting you, guiding you, instructing you, and warning you about everything that is going to make you not be the best version of yourself. 
Your eyes have no agenda other than showing you who you are. Your true self. At least in that context in the mirror, that is its job. To present the true you. The you that everyone else sees. Your eyes are looking back at you and will continue to aid you on your journey of becoming the best version of yourself. Do not be afraid of yourself. This is all an exercise, in the overall umbrella of evolving as a person. Evolving as an individual takes time, takes patience, adjustments, failures. Evolving is not easy, or everyone would be doing it. Some people have accepted the fact they are who they are. Mirrors have turned into nothing but a television screen. Displaying only characters, actors, performers. But not reality. People don't see themselves. They see the characters they're creating. Characters that will impress others, advance them in their work environment, arouse a spouse, deceive their friends, but never take time to check themselves, and their flaws. Not externally, but internally. They're working on everything about themselves except the most important part. The character within. The one thing that people will admire most about them, they ignore. They take for granted. They allow themselves to become tainted, with the hope that people will like what they see their external selves, instead of knowing what they are like internal. The eyes of every individual tells a different story. The story you should hear the most, is the one you're telling every day. And it's free of charge. You don't have to travel to get to it. You don't have to fly to land on your destination. You don't have to wait. All you have to do, is look yourself in the mirror, and be brutally honest with yourself about the person you see looking back at you. This is just one step. One exercise, that will aid you in becoming the best version of yourself. Evolving is hard. It takes time, but worth it. It is up to you to accept the challenge, the responsibility, the purpose, of your own life. Evolve.